so what did you say? I'm not going to repeat the slander. You're not going to say what you did say? A Texas Senate debate isn't the kind of political moment that generates a great deal of intrigue, but 2018 in Texas is different. Republican Ted Cruz and Democrat Beto O'Rourke wasted no time scrapping it out over who is more Texan. Only one of us has been to each county in Texas and would have an idea of what Texas values and interests are. Within months of being sworn to serve as your senator, Ted Cruz was not in Texas, he was in Iowa. Congressman O'Rourke doesn't seem to understand that representing Texas is not doing a photo op in each county in Texas with reporters in tow. But it's actually standing up and fighting for the people of Texas. Thank you so much. El Paso Congressman Beto O'Rourke has the political world wondering if he can topple the Republican Senator Ted Cruz. O'Rourke has embraced a progressive agenda, universal health care, education reform, granting so-called dreamers citizenship status, as well as criminal justice reform and legalizing marijuana. God bless Texas. Cruz is on a mission to paint O'Rourke as a dangerous leftist. Ready? One, two, three. And is fully embracing President Trump, a strong economy, and increased border security. Even in this debate, escaping the shadow of Trump was impossible. Cruz was asked if he had lost his dignity by praising the president after Trump insulted his father and wife. I've got a responsibility, which is to fight for every person here and every person in this state. And so I have worked hand in hand with the president on substance, and we have delivered remarkable victories. Listen, if the president attacks you personally, your wife, your father, how you respond is your business. But when Thank the you. president attacks our institutions, this country allows a foreign power to invade our democracy. That is our business. We need a U.S. senator who will stand up to this president. Love you too. Some polls have shown O'Rourke within striking distance of Cruz. However, the latest poll released this week from Quinnipiac shows Cruz with a nine-point lead. On the campaign trail, Cruz has been sounding the alarm that this race is indeed closer than most would expect in this red state. The first debate ended with a hint of perhaps what's to come in the final weeks of the campaign. Bernie Sanders believes in what he's fighting for. He believes in socialism. Now, I think what he's fighting for doesn't work, but I think you are absolutely sincere, like Bernie, that you believe in, in expanding government and higher taxes. And, and, and I commend you for fighting for what you believe in. True to form. The question is, will the Texas Senate race play out true to form, where the history of Democrats trying to unseat a Republican in Texas have ended in unceremonious flameouts? Ed Lavendera, CNN, Dallas.